So if you enjoy either or, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button before you leave today. I am finally revealing my living room. It is going to be part of my home tour series. Highly, highly, highly requested. So keep on watching. Still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. As my head of humans back between the jars and bottle jug. Just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving and driving. Alright guys, like I said, this video has been highly highly requested but i've come to find out that i'm a bit of perfectionist so i really wanted it to be almost perfect before i shared with you guys my all of my home tour videos there will be more than one so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my home tour series videos i'm so excited to finally share with you guys my home i mean i think i've got it down pretty good it's been a few months now so I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I'm gonna bring you guys along this journey with me and kind of see how my style progresses with time and the holidays are upon us. So Thanksgiving is around the corner, Halloween, Christmas, and you guys know all of the fun home decor that I will be sharing with you guys here on my channel. So this video is going to be a bit of a long one. So grab your favorite drink, have a seat and let's get started. I will be doing timestamps down in the description box. So if you guys don't want to hear me rambling, go down to the description box and click. It'll tell you the specific time for specific sections of my living room. So you guys can kind of just fast forward. But if you're a real one and you're going to stick around with me till the end, then keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through my living room section by section exactly where I got everything. But before I show you guys, I do want to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what my style is. So I would definitely describe my home decor style as very sophisticated and classy and chic and modern. That's really the look that I was going for when I started shopping for home decor. Don't get me wrong, I love a beautiful modern farmhouse, so I did want to bring some elements of farmhouse into my home decor, but it is mostly restoration hardware inspired. You guys know that restoration is very chic and modern and just, ugh, I love it. I am obsessed. Me and my husband love going to restoration hardware for inspiration, so that is where we got most of our home decor inspiration from. In this video, you guys will see pieces from everywhere. West Elm, Restoration Hardware, Z Gallery, Amazon, Pier One, Ikea, a little bit of everything, but mostly, most of my inspo does come from restoration hardware. My home is very monochromatic, I must say, with a lot of earthy tones, and that's really what I want it. I feel that your home really describes who you are as a person and it's really important to showcase what you like, what your style is and it's just not only is it very you know beautiful to see but it's just it's really comforting to get to see someone's home decor based on how they are in person i hope I, I think i said that right i hope it made sense you guys get me like when you see someone and the way that they are the way that they carry themselves i feel like their home is a representation of who they are i think i said that right <laughs> luckily my husband and i we both have the same taste in home decor and i am very lucky that he trusts my eye for everything like he does not question any of my you know choices in home decor and he just he's he lets me do what I want and he absolutely loves it so I'm very lucky in that perspective and I really hope that from today's video you guys take a lot of my pieces to inspire you to maybe try some new you know home decor pieces back at your home maybe have some fun with it and change it up a little bit and that's really what I want you guys to grasp from today's video just get a little bit of inspiration and of course if you're a restoration hardware lover then I hope you love this video but um, I don't want to keep on rambling I'm so excited so like I said grab your drink and let's get started all right guys, so the first thing you see when you step into my living room, it is this beautiful body torso. You guys know I got this baby from HomeGoods. It was probably one of my favorite finds of all time and I really wanted it to center in the middle of my living room. Of course, I topped it off with my beautiful Louis Vuitton coffee table book. You guys can see that in my media console, I decide, okay, so wait, first off, 
This is a media console. We originally got it to go underneath our television, but I didn't really like how it looked. It was too close to my shelvings and I wanted it to be, like I said, the center of my living room. So I decided to put it right in the center of my two beautiful windows and I think it looked perfect. You guys can see I have a piece of driftwood, some West Elm ceramic bases, my crystals, and it just really brings in that vibe that I want my entire home to give. If you guys are familiar with restoration hardware, you know that they put body sculptures like behind a couch on a console table and it's just, it really gravitates your attention towards it and that's what I really wanted to do and I think it worked out perfect. You guys have probably seen a lot of the restoration showrooms use a Calvin Klein coffee table book which I'm going to get most definitely but for now I really liked how the Louis Vuitton coffee table looked and I think it just it's really eye-catching and it brings those vibes that I want to give here in my living room behind it you guys see my beautiful windows I knew that I wanted my living room to be very airy and bright I wanted as much sunlight to come in as I could possibly get that's actually one of the things that my husband and I are not very happy about is the lighting but you guys know that with year you know with seasons changing the Sun will set in a different side so I'm hoping that I will get more light coming in towards winter time but even though I'm not complaining because obviously it's been really hot here in California and so it's nice to always have it shaded in here but e even with that said like I said I wanted really bright curtains to let as much light in as possible both of my curtains are from Ikea I will link everything down below I decided to get just basic white well they're not even white they're more of a cream color curtains uh to, to really bring in as much light as possible so i decided to put up some shades obviously for privacy i would love to just have bare windows i think that looks so beautiful most likely in my future home i will definitely have bare windows everywhere but even then i'm really happy with the way these turned out these are also from ikea and they're almost dead close to the color of my curtains so I really like how that just blended perfectly together and I think they look amazing you guys will see that my entire home has accents of black I really really love bringing in the accents of black I think it's very modern and chic and again restoration hardware does that a lot so you guys can see that my curtain rod is black and that's actually what I wanted um, I do love a gold curtain rod as well West Elm has beautiful gold curtain rods so if I were to change it I would definitely put it gold but I'm really really happy with the way that one turned out it's very chic and just simple and I think it looks amazing moving on to my bookshelves you guys have most likely seen me share these bookshelves a ton of times here on my channel which by the way if you missed my how to style bookshelves video I'll go ahead and link it down below go check it out if maybe you need a little bit of inspiration or some tips on how to style your bookshelf back at home so I've talked all about these babies numerous times I won't go you know too into detail but you guys can see that I have one on each side of my media console and I think they look stunning they're very minimal and chic and just modern and they really just bring in everything so well together like I said when you walk into my living room it is the first wall you see so my media console and my two bookshelves and they all just have beautiful elements that are spread throughout my home like stone and coffee table books and ceramic vases I actually just added these cute little um, wool baskets for fall you guys know that I'm gonna be transforming this entire living room into fall and so I'm super excited to bring you guys more fall content but yeah I really really wanted bookshelves in my living room those are one of the first things that I purchased and I think that they came out absolutely beautiful and again you guys can choose to go with whatever color you'd like I chose to go with black ones and they just look so stunning and I'm so happy with them next up we have my beautiful swivel chair you guys have seen me sit here so many times I knew that I wanted some sort of swivel chair I wasn't in particularly looking for one specific but this one was stunning I got this one at Pottery Barn but it is from West Elm oh by the way I don't think I even mentioned that so my media console is 
from West Elm, guys. I'll be linking it down below. And my bookshelves, I got them on Amazon. I've also linked this, these guys in my YouTube channel prior, but I'll be linking them down below once again. And uh, yeah, this guy is from West Elm. If you guys are not familiar with Pottery Barn or West Elm, they are sister stores. So you guys can find West Elm stuff at the Pottery Barn stores or vice versa. And so I was really happy when I found this guy. I got it more so for my YouTube videos, but it looks stunning in my living room. Every time somebody's over, I swear they gravitate towards it, which is funny because I thought that no one was gonna wanna sit on it. But they love it and I love it and I think it's so chic. And of course, I always throw a throw over blanket on top of it. It makes it look more cozy and like warm and really brings in those vibes that I want to bring in but honestly a swivel chair is just stunning I feel like you could always find them in modern homes and I'm really really happy with this one and yes I know it's white and a lot of people when I first started buying home decor were questioning my choices on picking really light colors but remember guys I have one baby my baby is almost nine and he's very well at respecting mommy's you know furniture decisions he knows not to put his feet up he knows not to wear shoes in the living room he's really good with that perspective but I know if you guys have babies and you might want to think twice about buying really light furniture but you could always throw a throw over on top of it or maybe a seat cover on it so trust me there is ways that you can work around it then above it we have of course our TV this I don't have much to say about it it's just a television more so my husband's choice um, he actually wants to get a bigger one we most likely will be buying a bigger one but we're really happy with this one we hardly watch television guys like I swear we're always so busy that we hardly ever sit and watch television. When we do, we have our beautiful couch that we lay on and we can watch movies or, you know, the living room is the heart of your home. So you want to make sure, you know, you have a television to entertain your guests and uh, yeah, just television. So let's move on. <laughs> Moving on to, like I said, the heart of my living room. It is my coffee table. I really feel like this one is dead center, like it should be. And well, this beautiful baby is so heavy. So, so heavy. It is a stone concrete coffee table. We knew we wanted a stone table from the get-go. Like, we love how industrial and modern it is. And I did put just a plain, glass bowl filled with moss. I love moss. You guys will see moss throughout my home a lot. I love, like that's the earthy, you know, vibe that I bring into my home is by bringing in greenery and I just absolutely love it. And again, restoration hardware uses a lot of it. So I really wanted to put some moss in the center of my coffee table. This one is from West Elm. I will link it down below. I'm not sure if it is still available, but even then they have hundreds of stone coffee tables. So trust me, you guys will be able to find something very similar. And I love that it has like a black glass shelf underneath. So I can choose to put coffee table books down there, baskets if I like to. I I actually don't put anything down there. I like just the simplicity of it, you know, empty and nothing on it. You guys can see that throughout my home. I'm very like minimal. I would say my decor is very minimal, but it's still very eye catching. So I'm really happy with this. Like I said, it was so heavy. It took three of us to bring it upstairs. And I'm pretty sure when we leave for our forever home, it's gonna take a whole team to bring it back down. So I'm really happy with this purchase and I just, I'm obsessed with it. And here we have my beautiful couch from Z Gallery. Oh my God, let me tell you guys. When we started shopping for a couch, I must say I was the pickiest person. I knew what kind of couch I wanted, so I drove my husband crazy. We went to multiple stores. Of course, my dream couch will be the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware, but I didn't want to bring it here. I thought it was too big, too massive, so I will save that for later down the line. But aside from that couch, I wanted something very modern and just a round couch for sure, like honestly, every couch that I've pinned on my Pinterest board is a round couch. And when I saw this baby at Z Gallery, I'm like, that's it, that's it. It is perfect. It is a beautiful neutral tone. It is velvet. Well, no, it's not velvet. It's these are polyester, which gives it that very structured, beautiful look that I love. But at the same time, they're super comfortable like everybody that has sat on these couches tells me how comfy they are i mean even myself when i watch movies here i've 
falling asleep from how comfortable they are. And I'm just so happy with them. They're very easy to clean, so don't be afraid to buy this color. It is ivory, and it's just, it's stunning. Like, we've figured out the perfect way to clean it, so I'm not worried about it. I know that with time, eventually, they can get dirty, but as long as you're just very careful, like, I don't allow kids to eat in this area. Adults, when we have guests over every now and then, I allow them to maybe bring some drinks, but I'm very, very, very cautious, and I am a clean freak, so... It is so bad, guys. Whenever anybody's over, I am just right there cleaning every second as, you know, as long as my stuff is not getting ruined and I keep an eye on them, then you're perfectly fine. But again, if you have children, then it might, you might have to, you know, double think it, but you'd be very, very happy, I promise you. On top of my beautiful round couch, I have these big pillows from Target. I've talked about these numerous times here on my channel. I want it very just simple and minimal. I purchased white ones particularly because I didn't want them to blend in with my couch. I wanted them to stand out and I thought these from Target were just perfect. They're big and I just I love them. They worked out amazing. I didn't want to put too many pillows on my couch because I didn't want it to take away from my couch. In fact, at first, I was going to keep it bare. Like, I wasn't going to put any pillows. But obviously, you know, every time people come over, we spend most of our time here. So I needed pillows for people to use and kind of lay on and sit back on, even though the, the couch is very comfortable on its own. I'm really happy with these pillows, but even without them, the couch looks stunning because it has this beautiful like design to it, and it's just, I am so happy with it. I don't think I want to ever get rid of this couch. I know it would look amazing if I were to bring it down the line with me for a second living room or just, I, I don't know, anywhere, but it's stunning. It is in three sections, so we did put it together, but you can choose to, you know, maybe... I don't know, place them separate if that's the vibe you're going for, but I chose to put mine all together, so I'm really happy with these. On each side of my couch, you guys will see my beautiful lamps from Ikea. Crazy, right? I get asked so many times where I got these guys. I got them from Ikea, but of course I got my inspiration from Restoration Hardware. They always put lamps on each side of their couches. You could even find some really beautiful lamps at Target. I've seen some that I like at Target, but I wanted these in particular because they go with all of my decor obviously they're very minimal and sleek and I love them and the light like the lighting is so warm I love it at night especially when I turn off all the lights and just leave these two lights on you guys see like the warmness to them it's such a vibe I absolutely love them I'm so happy with them and they're very inexpensive so I'll definitely link them down below if you guys are looking for something very modern and sleek and just to kind of bring that vibe to your living room Behind me, I get asked so many times about my beautiful wedding gallery. So behind me, you guys will see all of our wedding pictures. Well, not all of them, obviously, but my favorite ones. You guys will see my husband, my son, and myself on our happiest day. We just got married last year, and I knew that when I moved to my own place, I wanted to blow up my wedding pictures, and I'm so happy with these. I did decide to go with black and white. I thought it was very vogue, very just chic, and I love it. I loved how they turned out, but you can, of course, choose to go with color if, you, color if you'd like. These frames are from Ikea. I know, mind-blowing, but I know CB2 has some beautiful frames as well, but I chose to go up you know, for the cheaper route, because they're pretty expensive at Ikea, I mean, at a CB2. Even though Ikea, they're not that cheap either, but they're much bigger, much more elegant looking, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I chose to go with six. I just knew that that's the look that I wanted. I wanted people to come into my home and see my wedding pictures. I mean, it is such a happy day to want to relive, and so every time that people come over, they see my pictures. We talk all about our wedding day, and it's just, they're stunning. They're so beautiful, and if you haven't checked out my wedding video, it's here on my channel, so go check it out. And of course, we have our beautiful rug, which I'm so happy with. Um, obviously, someone over here loves our rug, like it is his favorite spot to take his naps in, which is why I'm carrying him. If not, he's gonna be laying there just minding his own business. I got this rug from Bassett. If you guys are not familiar with it, they're an American furniture company. They have the worst customer service, I'm not gonna lie, 
but I'm very happy with my rug and they have beautiful furniture as well. So I highly recommend you guys go check them out. And I really wanted it to bring in, you know, the vibe that I wanted with my home, the same color schemes of my entire home, which is like a gray, the mixture of white there's, it's so stunning. We actually just cleaned it. So it looks beautiful. We're thinking of actually purchasing another rug with time. Cause obviously this one's going to wear out probably in like, I don't know, a few more months, but I'm definitely gonna go and purchase another rug from Bassett. I just absolutely love. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in buying a rug for yourself. And this one is just stunning. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, it is the latest addition to my living room. I feel like this just stepped it up. I love bringing plants into my home. I think they're a very beautiful way to add color. And well, this stunning beauty is an olive tree. Look at this plant vase, guys. Like it is just to die for. I got my entire setup out. What is it? I'll say Home Goods. Home Depot. My vase was a little bit pricey, but it's so, so worth it. And an olive tree just really, like I said, brings in that modern touch to your home. I am watching this baby. I'm watering her every single day. I want her to keep blooming and growing. You guys can, of course, choose to go with faux plants, but we prefer not to. We love maintaining our plants. We're actually, we have a little bit of a green thumb. Like, I'm not going to lie, but they always turn out to look stunning as, as as long as we just water them and we try to keep up with them they look beautiful and they've lasted us quite some time so i'm really really happy with our plants we have two big major plants in our home which is my beautiful olive tree and my fiddle leaf tree which you guys will get to see in my next home tour video but for now you guys get a little bit of a glimpse of my olive tree and i absolutely adore it i am obsessed with it all right guys, and that completes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the very first video kickoff to my home tour series videos. I am super excited to show you guys the rest of my home. Please share this video with anybody that you might think get, might get some inspiration from it or loves restoration hardware in general or just wants a modern, beautiful home, maybe get some ideas. Remember, everything will be linked down below in the description box. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite piece. What did you mostly love about my living room? I would love to chat with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing me lately. It's just so crazy. I am so very, very, very happy. You guys only motivate me to do more and do better. Stay safe, guys. Until next time, bye.